How's it going, reef keepers? Just covering general reef tank uh, electrical management, which I believe to be a skill that is developed as you move forward in the hobby. It's not necessarily a skill that you're, you're born with. I mean, some people are abnormally organized or have you know natural understanding of electrical through pr past experiences, um, but I certainly had no skills in electrical management when I began the hobby. Uh, my first tank was just a mass of cords and power bricks, which was uh, you know abhorrent to me now. And now I've come to this point um, after you know two tanks later, where I've got you know two power bar units that all have little um, 15 amp extension cords that come off of them for aesthetic purposes, so that everything looks organized and good from the front. Um, and then I've learned over time the just by you know watching videos like these from that other reef keepers have made uh, about different safety methods for you know making this a safe endeavor from an electrical standpoint, which is critical in this hobby because you've got electricity and com you know electrical components near salt water, which if the U.S. Navy has to service their ships every couple years uh, for salt water corrosion. I mean, we got to maintenance our stuff, you know, <laughs> more, more than that, I would say. Um, you know, we're not building battleships here. We, 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 there are thinner holes on the things that, that we're putting in our tanks. So um, what I do for safety is, is this. I've got two EB-832 uh, Neptune power bars. Now, that's expensive stuff. Um, those are things I've acquired through, you know, years of scrimping, saving, um, you know, taking advantage of deals, getting used equipment, that kind of thing. Not everyone even wants a controller on their tank. And there's, you know, plenty of evidence to show that controllers are really not necessary at all to be successful in the hobby. I like to micromanage, so I have a controller system. But something that a lot of other people may, you know, rather utilize is, and you can see it a little bit in here, um, right back here, this is a CASA, K-A-S-A, -S smart power strip that allows you to control diff various electrical outlets remotely with your phone with a clean, you know, useful app interface. So a lot of people choose to go that route and use smart devices um, and smart power strips to control the various pieces of equipment on their tank, which is just fine. Um, I have a tank where that's all I use is a smart power strip on it and it runs just great. Um, out, so basically, I would say you need a, some kind of central unit with some controllability um, that you can tap into either through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. A lot of old school reef keepers like to just have an on-off switch that they tap, um, and that's all they have, which, you know, to each their own. Um, but I think there's a lot of benefit to being able to control things via Wi-Fi, um, especially if you're like something goes wrong with the tank and your spouse gives you a call at work and you're an hour away working and they're like, Oh my God, what, what do I do? What do I do? You can just turn it off, turn off whatever piece of equipment, your skimmer overflowing, whatever, um, and save them the stress, save yourself the stress, save yourself a trip, you know, flying home like a, like a bat out of, you know, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, there's benefits to modernizing, uh, your electrical to, in a con from a controllability standpoint, right? Now, outside of that ability, which I think is, it, it adds safety, right? Being able to control things uh, remotely. The other lengths that I go to to keep my electrical safe are one, utilizing GFCI, right? So I have GFCI uh, on this outlet on this side and then the other outlet is obscured behind the tank, but it has the same setup, right? So GFCI is critical to ensuring that you're not gonna get shocked when you put your hand in the water, right? If there's something going wrong with a piece of equipment, GFCI detection will trigger those and shut them down until you can troubleshoot it and figure out what's going on. Um, mine are auto reset so that if there's like a false reading, they'll reset themselves and turn the equipment back on. Um, you know, there's different ways of doing GFCI, but I believe in it. Um, there's, there's con contention in the hobby about it, um, from some, you know, experienced reef keepers, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I have it on the tank. Um, I also 
mount all of my power bricks, as you can see here. I mount my power bricks, one, to keep them off the floor, off the, off the you know, bottom of the stand so that they never sit in salt water, but also for heat management, right? Heat distribution. You don't want those things all in a mass together, heating each other up. You're going to burn them out quicker that way, okay? And equipment longevity is important. I mean, this hobby's too expensive to just be lazy with that. The other thing I do is for heat management is I have dual computer fans that blow heat forward from back behind my control panel here. And then I have in this grommet, a tiny little like PlayStation or Xbox uh, heat distributor, just a little tiny fan that blows through that grommet. And then it blows it through my sump area. And I have another larger computer fan on the side of it that kicks on when this ambient temperature gets too high. All that's pretty complicated. Uh, for aesthetic purposes, I did it this way. Uh, you guys would probably be good just drilling a little hole in the side and putting a computer fan, you know, up against it and just letting it blow out all day. Uh, my system's a little more complicated in this regard. I also made sure when it, before I put any of my equipment under here that I put cord chases, one up top and one along the bottom. And you see, you can see tons of cords in here. Um, <laughs> the cord chases are already full. I'm a gearhead. So I have tons of little pieces of DIY this, DIY that, this device, that device, this sensor, that sensor. It's over complex for a new reef keeper. You know, I would suggest getting like a cord chase that you, that you put under your tank just to keep those cords from dangling all over the place. There's something to be said for the general aesthetic of you know, when, when you open underneath your tank to show someone some of your equipment, because if someone shows interest, you know, we're going to show it off. When you open it up, you don't want them to see a nest of, you know, cords and chaos. You know, there should be the appearance of order to the chaos, even if you still have elements of chaos, right? So, um, that's all an aesthetic thing, but I think it's important. I think have at least making an attempt to organize the chaos is better for you mentally, right? Because you look at it and you're like, you know, okay, I need to service or maintenance this one piece of equipment. If you open your stand and you just see a rat's nest, you're gonna say, nope, not doing that today and push it off and your tank will suffer for it, right? Whether catastrophically or just over time, you know, something getting rusty and leaking into the water and you're, you're just, you're not going to, you're not gonna properly maintenance things if it looks challenging. However, if it looks somewhat ordered, right, there was an attempt at order at least, you're probably more likely to service it, at least I am. So my advice would be with Reef Tank Electrical, have some kind of unified, controllable, whether it's just a smart power strip or like, you know, controller energy bars, some kind of controllable device. I think we're, we're, we're too technologically advanced as, as a species to be ignoring the ability to rem remotely control our equipment. And it's at too good of a cost point now, especially with those smart power strips. They're like 50 bucks or less. Um, and from there, I would recommend, you know, fans of some kind, even just a small fan to output heat from the side of your, your stand um, from where your, most of your equipment is housed. I would recommend GFCI. I know it's contentious. You know, don't, don't hate on me if you don't like GFCI. Just I, I do it. Um, so I'm going to recommend it. Uh, I think it's safe. And then also just remember the mounting of larger heat producing components like power bricks. I think everyone can get behind that. Um, I think that's a good measure to take. So um, that's it. I mean, reef tank electrical, there's a million different ways to do it. There's a million different ways to organize it. There's all kinds of aesthetics to it. There's a million ways to distribute heat. You know, this is my way and I'm not trying to force it on anyone. Um, and a lot of people are going to have smaller tanks with way less equipment and they just don't need to go to these lengths. But I wanted to show you, you know, on a pretty complex system on a larger tank, Here's all the different things that I do. Hopefully you guys can take from it, you know, one, two, three things that you implement on your own setup just for general safety and just, you know, uh, some form of organization, right? It's, 
it's a hard thing to do managing all of the cords in this hobby. And I don't think it's talked about enough how difficult the electrical portion of it can be. But there are some things that you can do to just make it less of a headache and just, you know, assuage your own fears and make yourself feel better when you leave the house that you're not going to come back to, you know, a charred husk of a home where your home once stood. <laughs> so um, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to burn my house down with this. Knock on wood, right? Famous last words. But uh, I've taken as many steps as I think I can reasonably take. Um and I suggest you guys do the same within reason. So um, that's my ethos, I guess, on uh, Reef Tank Electrical. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. I appreciate every bit of support from you guys. Thanks so much.